Hey team Trisella! Welcome back to another epic vlog. If you guys were here on Sunday, you would have seen that we've done part one of answering mm -hmm. your questions and giving you guys relationship advice. And we are back for part two. Let's get it. Okay. Question one. How did we get to a point to be vulnerable enough with each other? I definitely think that you guys need to be open and communicate with each other. You have to be able to tell someone things that make you scared because you never know, like, they could be doing something that's hurting you, but they won't know it because you're not open enough. That's a good point. So definitely be open and communicate with the other person. Yeah, I think also being in a relationship, it's knowing that you you become vulnerable to the other person. You give them the power to hurt you, but you trust them enough to know that they won't, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants advice because they are struggling to open up with their partner. Um, How long have you guys been dating? Yeah. Have you been pretty quick on that? Yeah. And also, like, why are you struggling to open up? Mm. Um, did your partner hurt you? Or is it something from your past? Like, what's going on? Like we just said, yeah. you have to be open. And naturally, you should be able to feel like you can discuss anything. Mm. With it your should partner. be comfortable. Like, yeah, you should be comfortable. Yeah. Someone wants advice if they are feeling demotivated and stuck as a couple. Understand what's causing that because like being unhappy it's a real thing. Feeling sad, uh, being depressed, like I got to a place where I'm it's a real thing guys. And sometimes you might not even need to have a reason. It's a real thing, people are going through this. Yeah. But discuss as a couple again, it comes back to communication being key. What is causing you to feel that way? Mm -hmm. Confide in your partner, be open and ask them to share their feelings as well. You might realize that both of you feel the same way about something and you just haven't said it. So Try to get to the root cause of what it is, understand what's causing that, and then do things together mm -hmm. to overcome that. Yeah, I mean, if one of the reasons is that you guys feel inadequate or you're not happy with your life, is it because maybe you're looking at other couples wishing you had what they have? Mm -hmm. Is it because you're comparing yourself to others, which is not healthy at all? Comparison is a theft of joy. It's a theft. Oh, I like that. Is that a scripture or is it just a quote? I don't know, but you should pay to But it is. No, it's someone else's. Comparison is a theft of joy. And another thing, um, just remember, if you guys are currently at this moment feeling demotivated and stuck, just remember that we are living in lockdown. So yeah. you may not be with your partner right now and you may be feeling stuck and like, uh, just remember, we are in lockdown. There's, it's completely, it's different. Yeah. It's not like you are with the person and you're feeling demotivated and stuff. So with these things, just remember that lockdown is not forever. We are going to be it's able to see people that's again. Passing, yeah. It's just a season. I like that. It's a season that's passing. Also, um, it's a new season. She does it all the time. So somebody asked us a very interesting question. And Trevino and I actually spoke about this one night. The person wanted to know, funny. this is not it's really so relationship funny. advice, but they want to know how do we think our lives would have been if we didn't meet each other. So the other night we were actually talking and said, what would life have been like if we <laughs> broke up after school? We went a bit too far. Yeah, yeah. we went a bit too far. Like it's I funny. found Trevino a new girlfriend. So I said Trevino would be still living at home with his parents. Um, he'd be working in his parents' business. He'd be driving his dream car. He wouldn't be married and he wouldn't have, have a girlfriend. And have no sense of responsibility or savings mm -hmm. and just be living in the moment and not really planning for the future. And for Selena, we said she'd be living like on her own. No way, that's she, not what we said. She would be Trimino, with the tall version of me. Trimino was describing the guy that I would be with if I wasn't with him. So he's like, um, <laughs> your type is non-abusive. And I'm like, everybody's type is non-abusive, Trimino. And he's like, yeah, he'd be a funny guy. He'd be the life of the party, he'd be really handsome and I'm People's like, person. Oh no, I, didn't, I, I wasn't like, thinking about he myself, he'd be I really wasn't. People's person, he'd be tall, and he kept going and I'm like, you know, you're literally just describing the tall version of yourself. What's going on? And he's like, oh yeah. Way taller than her, yeah. Oh, and he said older. He said older. Probably older. I think yeah. I would be married and I think I'd have a child. I know she'd be happy. <laughs> yeah, oh, we also said that I would have married someone who has the same personality as me. Which would have not been fun because Trevino and I. Fun to watch. <laughs> that person's not even a. It's not even a real thing anyone. Let's just fight. <laughs> Are you breaking up marriages like? <laughs> that didn't happen. So Trevino and I, our personalities are the complete opposite. And but I, it's so I love weird because we balance each other. I love it. Yeah. I love it. He brings the party. I bring the responsibility. And the organization. 
organizational skills. Whatever that um, was. Excel sheet. Spreadsheets. She's got PowerPoints and spreadsheets for everything. Somebody's pastor told them, you fall in love with the personality, but you live with the character. More statement. I like it. Do we think this is true and what has been the challenges? Definitely true. Mm -hmm. I think it is true. Yeah, you do live with a character person because personalities yeah. can change, I guess. But when we did speak about this, I think more in our relationship, we found little things in each other that we didn't like, but overall the person's character, we were drawn to it. We also saw the potential in each other. Everybody has their flaws, yeah. but you got to weigh it out. In our case, I'm confident that there was so much more good than bad, especially in this little bundle of what was it like moving in and adjusting to each other? Fun and exciting. Ooh, it, it really, really was a lot of fun. I think one of the challenges though would be that we had to adjust to the way the other person does things. Yeah. Like I am, as we literally just said, I am a person who likes order, structure, one, two, three, four, to get to point five. Trevino is a person who does one, three, two, four, and then still gets to five. But for me, it's like, why are you doing that? It makes so much more sense to just go one to five instead of one, three, two, four, and then get to five. Or the level of seriousness yeah. when it comes to certain things. Yeah. And, and the amount of like how laid back are you versus how serious you should be and how much time you should take to do something versus like whatever. Mm. I think one of the things that we've spoken about this so many times and I think it's, it happens but like very very little Doses. each day. Um, I need there's a bug flying Blind around. Just, the light. Don't go to the light. I need to take more of Trevino in my life and just be more chilled and relaxed and just chill. And Trevino needs to take more of me into yeah, his life. And, and I need to be a bit more organized and a bit more structured time-wise and plan a bit more for the future. But I think that's also something that's really worked out well for us. Where we I look in the moment and I enjoy life yeah. and she's so much in the future, but we bring each other yeah. in. So it was um, amazing moving in together yeah. and we adjust every day. I think I don't think you ever fully adjust, but it, yeah. it does get a lot better over yeah, time. Yeah, and easier. It's such a fun journey guys, oh, marrying the amazing. love of your life, building your home, decorating it. Planking now, them. Now we like, at night, we, we like Mr. Price home, deco Planking stuff. Them. Plank, plank, this game is <laughs> not a plank. I just wanted to know what could I do or maybe I'm just expecting too much. My boyfriend has met my whole family, including aunts, cousins, grandparents, but I haven't met his parents. <laughs> Stop wriggling. <laughs> I haven't met his parents or even know or even his siblings yet. I know the mature thing to do would be to have a conversation about it, but I wanted your advice as to how I should approach it and how I should what I should say and how. And why? Uh, I'm not gonna read the rest of the message because I think it's a pretty simple answer. Just communicate. Just like be like, hey, yeah. Like you met my whole family. When can I meet your family? Also, why? Doesn't seem normal. Like I mean, both. Like you must be open. Like you've got nothing to hide. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I would find it very weird if we were dating and I met your family, but I wouldn't want you to meet my family for some reason. Yeah, so I think it's a very simple answer. Just, it's communication guys, like a lot of these questions, it's yeah. communication. And where do you want to go in your relationship? Because yeah. surely, I mean, if you did, and how long are you dating? That's a key one, you didn't mm -hmm. tell us how long you did. If you're dating for three months, four months, Maybe he met a whole family before. while they were grocery shopping. Maybe, look at us getting in depth like we do with Bollywood movies, yeah. <laughs> That's something funny that we do right away. Yeah. What if what if he came out of a long term relationship where a, the family where was attached. somebody the family was attached and she ended up cheating on him and they dated Ooh. for five years and now you guys are together? How did we develop personal space? Not doing warm space. Lila is intelligent, smart, she understands a lot of things except personal space. I don't believe in personal space. So <clears throat> back in the day, when you guys watched the my career journey video, I said that I used to work with Trevino's parents, so obviously I used to see him every day. And even after that, like, oh, this is, this is important, speak to me, Lord. You need to remember when you are in a relationship not to lose yourself in your partner. It's important. And I did this in our relationship. My whole life, my only friend, my whole existence, all my fun, all my extra time out of work was Trevino. And that's not healthy because he was a normal functioning person who had his work friends, his other friends, 
his brother is very close in age to him so yeah. he had things to do where i focused all my energy and attention onto Trevino and when he was doing things with other people I was like and I don't think it helped that you couldn't drive your own car your own manual car yeah time, so that was also like yeah so I would say definitely one of the things is am I even answering the question yeah, you are you are you are doing a really good job one of the things is definitely don't lose yourself in your partner when you become one yes the two become one but you are also still a person who yeah. has their own life and their own needs and their own things. The only time you should lose yourself is in the music and the moment. <laughs> you better never let it go. <laughs> Do not miss a chance to blow. How do we keep the spark after all these years? Um, I think one of the things for me is it's literally just the two of us. The just spark has the two of us. <laughs> The spark hasn't gone anywhere because all our love, all, all our attention, all our time has been for each other. We don't have a child to put that in. Yeah. So right now it's just us. So I don't think the spark has disappeared. Yeah, but also I think going a bit deeper into it, we've been dating for more than 10 years. The I mean, spark, I, think now. I know, but I'm building a solid case here. Oh, a case. It starts from when you're dating, guys. And you need to do things daily, little things that you know the other person would appreciate like if it's just making her morning coffee kissing her, telling her I love you, I appreciate you doing little things to make the other person mm -hmm. feel special over time is what keeps that spark there when you start drifting apart is when you don't appreciate the little things and you don't be intentional and then you wake up one day and you're like how did we get here? yeah how? Like, yeah. no GPS bro okay how do we grow in Christ? Um, my thing and i've said this from a long time ago you need to have your own spiritual relationship first yeah. but you also need to have a spiritual relationship as that couple good. you Home definitely definitely you're oh, Miss Church. you definitely need to have strong solid relationships with god as individuals and then as a couple as a couple definitely. praying together worshiping together all that good stuff investing in your spiritual life very important guys courses how did we buy and furnish a house and have a wedding things are so hard We've discussed this We've discussed a lot. This. Can a you lot. Really link it? I'll just link it somewhere. Cool. How do we stay true to our goals and grow together towards it with finances and disagreements? So share common goals. It's important for you guys to be on the same page. Yeah. You gotta know where you're heading mm -hmm. and what you wanna achieve and tracking it monthly. Like, yeah, like a budget. Even finances. Budgets are so important because mm -hmm. you just end up spending your money like ha, yeah. how did we get you? You also need to have a plan when it comes to clearing up debt. Or the investments that you want and to savings, make and yeah. savings and things like that so definitely have a plan mm -hmm. i like planning yeah so your short-term plan would be your monthly budget and your medium to long term would be another financial plan or a budget to maybe reduce debt that you mm -hmm. may have or, or invest money and save money yeah correct and then finally someone wants to know what is an appropriate age gap she was she is 23 and her ex was 39. let's just say this age is not a number age is a word what? Let them finish. Okay? Trina! That's funny. Where did you learn that? I know people. <laughs> That's crazy. I think if you if if you're an adult, like I don't really like obviously if someone is eleven and they're dating a twenty year old, that's like what's going on there. But um extremist again. Yeah, shame eleven, that's Kiki's age, that's nasty. Stay away from my sister. But yeah, <laughs> I think like once you're over the age of 18 and if you're dating someone older than you that's fine obviously keep it legal boundaries yeah. as well i do think that age is just a word is what she said it is important guys but mm. it's not the only thing that matters and i've also like it's a thing where ladies are more mature than guys so that's one but there's nothing wrong if the other person is older than you so long as there's boundaries and you guys understand each other yeah. and the core value and values and beliefs are there love respect communication trust so obviously sometimes like a big age gap can cause problems like oh you're so immature blah 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 but i've actually seen relationships where um the younger person learns a lot from the older person and then i've also seen relationships where the the younger person dictates to the older person and they make unwise or immature decisions so I and guess it's also based on the couple and yeah, the it, level it, it of maturity. Yeah, it differentiates between the couples. I've also seen where maybe the older person learns from the younger person how to be funny, yeah. how to enjoy life, how to keep up with everything that's going on. If you guys enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. 
see you guys every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday at 12 30 for yeah. a new video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to like, to Please subscribe, do. to comment, to ding the bell notification button. And see you guys next time for a new video. Bye, Tim Bye, Tim Gisella. Gisella.